Hey everyone, welcome to another look back at my monthly favorites, this time from September of 2016. I'm gonna run through my description box from back then very quickly if you're unfamiliar with this concept. I look back at videos two years exactly from the month and revisit those favorites and I'll let you know if they're still around um, and if I'm still using them and if not, what has replaced them. So let's start. I'm just gonna go in the order in which it is printed in the box. So the first thing were these actual earrings here. These are the Nightfall Threader Druzy Drops from Bobble Bar and of course they're not available anymore. Now, Bobble Bar has a brand um, that they have at Target called Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar and um, they have a similar concept. This particular pretty color is not there, but the, um, there is a very similar uh, earring that they have that is out now. So I'll put the link to that. But if you want really pretty Druzy, the queen of Druzy earrings is by far Kendra Scott. She's released some new Druzy colors that are just stunning. So I'll link um, to her collection below if you would like to explore this concept more. I loved these. Um, these are this is actually my second pair. I lost one of the first pair and ordered a second set. Um, then also, I was also wearing this in the video, is this Caslon Burnout sweatshirt. This is one of my number one sellers, by the way, in 2016. And I'll be happy to let you know that they are back. This exact color is not available. It's more of a blush or not, it's not a blush, it's a pink, it's a baby pink, but it's a, like a, it's not a washed out baby pink. It's beautiful, I kind of want that color. They also have it in an olive, I want that color too. Um, I'm wearing it small, it's long enough that it, it's, I'm wearing it with leggings right now. Um, you could size down, this runs pretty big, so I would actually, I will probably order the pink, the lighter pink than this, and go down to an extra small. So that is my advice to you if you are ordering this and it's so comfortable. It's like 85 degrees outside and I'm wearing this mostly because I wanted to recreate the same thumbnail or similar thumbnail as back in 2016. But honestly, it's like a tissue weight sweatshirt. And so I wouldn't even call it a sweatshirt. That's really stretching the term. Um, so, you, okay, I live in South Texas, so I'm used to like 100 degree heat. So 85 isn't horrible. But if you're in air conditioning and stuff, what I'm trying to say is you can wear it in the not so cool weather, and then it's really nice to layer stuff under it, over it, et cetera. It's a great sweatshirt, I love it. Okay, next were these. Um, these are the Stilato, M. Jemmy is the brand. The shoe is called the Stilato. Last time I checked, they still have these. This watermelon type color is no longer available. Um, I just wore these like two days ago. These are like handmade Italian leather. I love a pointy shoe. They have held up so well considering I've worn these in the rain, I've worn these in dirt. I mean, I just, I did not take good care of them. There's a little bit of wear. Thank you, Rowdy. Right on the tip, but um, that's my fault because I literally was scuffing my feet on the ground. But other than that, they mold to your feet. They're super comfortable. It's the only shoe I've gotten from M. Jemmy and I need to explore getting some more of them because the quality is just unparalleled. Rowdy disagrees. He'd like to drop his bone throughout this entire video. Um, another favorite from September 2016. I believe that was the year I went to Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week. Tick that box, never again. That is so not my scene. It was nice to go once and say I did it. It's not my thing. Um, but I believe this is the dress. It's a Donna Morgan dress. I will insert the picture of me. It's either this one or there's one with flowers, actually, I think was the one that, I don't know. I have a lot of Donna Morgan dresses. I love that brand. Um, it used to be carried at Nordstrom. Can't find it at Nordstrom. You can find it at Belks. You can find it, um, I think, at Dillard's, online at Amazon. Um, they have some beautiful, I think, very woman-friendly, woman-shaped friendly pieces. Um, they're not cut for, um, how do I put this? They're cut in a way that is very figure flattering, no matter what your shape. How about that? And I'm a big fan of scuba. That is my favorite fabric because you can do this to it and smoosh it up and throw it in your suitcase, which I would not do, but, and it really doesn't wrinkle. It's great for travel. Um, there's actually one I'm about to order from Bloomingdale's from Donna Karen. It's a similar shape and cut to this, but it's all black. And I just think I need a basic black dress. And it's really nice that it's going to always be wrinkle free and ready to go if I need a black dress like that. So I'll put the link to that. I'm literally ordering it today. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Then on, I mentioned a book randomly in the middle of all that. It was the, um, Omens book in the Canesville book series. And that book series is now complete. There are no more books in that series. If you haven't read it, it's from Kelly Armstrong. It's a fantastic, one of my all-time favorite 
book series. It's kind of paranormal and there's mis no, it's definitely paranormal and there's mystery in there and it's set in Chicago and the suburbs of Chicago and it's a, it really hooks you. I don't love how she ended the series. I'm kind of hoping she left it a little open-ended so that we can revisit it. I hope that's really not the last book in the series, but I'll link to the first book down there. Uh, the next favorite from September 2016 was the Aveda Shampure Dry Shampoo. Still my all-time favorite dry, whoop, <laughs> still my all-time favorite dry shampoo. I love this shampoo. Um, I've, I don't know how many more I've gone, sorry, how many more I've gone through since 2016. I can tell you it got its work cut out for it the following month in October 2016. My youngest son, Shane, let me kill that dog. I'm skinning a lot. Rowdy, please stop. Um, he was in the hospital for a week in October 2016 and he could not take a shower. He was hooked up to an IV, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, but his hair was getting a little rank after a few days. And I brought this from home and put it in his hair and he has much darker hair than me and, you know, zhuzhed it up. Sorry about that noise. And um, the nurses thought I had gotten, snuck someone in to do his hair. I was like, nope, it's just this. Um, so this is a great gift, by the way, if, if you have a friend in the hospital or maybe someone that has a new baby and can't, sorry, I had to address the dog issue. So this makes a great gift for someone who's, um, you know, stuck in bed or like a new mom or in the hospital, whatever. Just as an aside, I'm sure Aveda did not design it that way, but it works out very nicely. Um, another favorite was the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Brush. Didn't love the foundation that came out with it, but I love this brush. It's not very big um, and it's kind of angled and it just fits in those nooks and crannies. It's really dense so the foundation doesn't soak into it. Um, I love, it's just pretty. I don't love how thick it is because it's, it's, it doesn't go well in my little brush holder so it sits out by itself, but it's very soft and it's, it's just fits and all those nicks and crannies and really lets you work the foundation in the skin. So I love it. Um, another favorite, and this is the same tube. We're not going to talk about whether or not it's expired is the Guerlain Lingerie Depot BB cream. And I love it. And I still love it. I'm wearing it in the shade BB2 light. I'm wearing it today. It is beautiful. Um, I have no complaints. It also is SPF 30. So this is a favorite, um, when I'm going to be not like laying out, but if I'm going to be out and about, this is, this is still one I reach for. Um, it is not inexpensive, which is why I don't, I, you know, I'm kind of like, oh, and it smells like violets. Um, I don't use it as often as I, I kind of savor it. Okay. I'm savoring it, but it's on its last legs. Love this. Still recommend this. Still wearing it. The elf contour palette was a favorite in September 2016 and it looks like this and I will be perfectly honest with you as I always am I usually don't contour so it's been a while since I reached for this I am wearing it today I kind of contoured and then I went over it with this bronzer which is a little too orange I think for me um my I will say I could skip this shade this is not a great shade this bronzer this is a beautiful contour shade if you're fair skinned, I'd say. And then these two for setting under the eye are fabulous. So three out of four ain't bad. And I know that there's a way to pop this out and put something else in its place. I just have never bothered. It's great for travel. It's a really sturdy little mirror, but almost proved that how sturdy it was. And then the last favorite of 2016 was this one, the Clinique Plum Pop. I haven't reached for this yet. Um, I think it was a lot cooler back in 2016 and I'm just not ready to completely embrace fall right now. This is a beautiful color and still one of my all time favorites. I am wearing another shade from that line. It's the same shade I wore in the video two years ago, which is the Clinique, um, pop lip color in the shade nude pop. And this is what it looks like. It's not really nude, like a dead nude it has a little warmth to it. And if you want to add a little more punch, just add a lip liner and then throw that on on top and it'll really stand out. These um, are, we're not going to talk about how old these are. Okay. We're just not, but I actually do have, I just got another one, a backup of bear pop. I just love, I have yet to find a lipstick collection that I have loved as much as the Clinique lip color pops. Um, I just wish they would come out with more in the shade range. Not different formulations and different formulas. This, this formula, this container, Clinique, they don't know who I am, um, just 
a few different shades. Just some more, more. We need more. Um, that was it. Those are my favorites from September 2016. Not a lot going on there. Um, what I have on is what I had on back then, the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau BB Cream. I'm not wearing the highlighter I had on. That is long gone. It was a great highlighter. Um, in fact, I'm not wearing highlighter at all. I forgot to put it on. I am wearing the Too Faced Bonbons palette, which is what I was wearing back then, and the same lip color. Um, this is not the same nail color. In fact, this I don't know what color this is. My It's one of those random colors from the nail salon that has like a number. It's not shellac. It is a nail polish, but I don't know what it is. Um, so that is it. Thank you so much for uh, watching as we travel back in time two years. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on all the fun we have here. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.